A very good afternoon to everyone. Today, I, Simran Kaur, welcome you to AICT Insights, a show on education, innovation, startup, entrepreneurship, and much more. Today's episode, we will be covering Smart India Hackathon. As we all are aware about the recent success of Smart India Hackathon, we have with us Mr. Sari Moim, Innovation Officer, MIC. A very warm welcome you, sir. Thank you so much, Simran. We all are very curious to know what actually happens after the success of Smart India Hackathon. We want to know what goes around after the hackathon gets over. So today's episode, we will be covering all, all about the events post-hackathon. So sir, let's start today's episode by discussing what, ha- what is happening after the hackathon. Yeah. Thank you so much, Simran, for the brief introduction. And we have been receiving numerous queries from the student fraternity, like what are the activities, what is going to happen post hackathon. So I have created a small presentation like what are the initiatives which we will be doing after the post hackathon. So right now I'm sharing my presentation uh, telling you about the hackathon. I would like to give a brief presentation how the entire hackathon which had an enormous response. uh, I will give you a brief about it. So what is a smart india hackathon so it is a platform to solve the some of the pressing problems of the society organization and the government and if you see the smart india hackathon it has inculcated a culture of product innovation problem solving and out of the box thinking and it smart india hackathon has been quoted as the world's biggest open innovation model and this hackathon has given an anchor to host other hackathons. So many of the ministries, many of the industry, they are hosting the hackathon to get the some of the bright minds of the country. So if I talk about uh, about the hackathon, so we had two categories of the hackathon. The first one was inviting the problem statements from various ministries, departments, state governments, industries. And the second one is the student innovation category where the student fraternity they can give the pro, uh, they can give the uh, solution against the themes of the smart india hackathon and all these problem statements they can be categorized under the software category or the hardware category so i would like to know any new theme that was added this year right so previously we were having 16 broad themes so namely smart vehicles smart education healthcare and green tech and with the success of the Chandrayaan mission, we had included the space technology as one of the new themes. And we have received a good response from the student community. And uh, so what were the problem statements that were being given uh, this year? So uh, we had received various problem statements uh, from the defense side, from the uh, ISRO side, uh, from the Jal- Ministry of Jal Shakti. So we had a good uh, response from the ministry side as well. So it includes uh, various problem statements related to the defense category, healthcare, uh, improvement in renewable energy resources. So uh, we had good uh, amount of problem statements from various ministries and departments. So if we talk about the outcomes of the Smart India Hackathon and uh, the glimpse from the starting of the hackathon. So our Honorable Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi has been the ch- has been championing this event since its inception and every year he interacts and addresses the students. So as you can see, starting from 2017 until uh, 2023, he has been uh, there and uh, he has been supporting and uh, he has been uh, addressing the students across all year. So so what has been outcome of uh, the Smart India Hackathon? So since its inception, many of the startups, many of the solution they have been deployed across various ministries and departments. So more than 100 startups directly or indirectly, which were linked with the hackathon, uh, they have been set up and more than 20 solutions have been implemented at the various departments and ministries. So if we talk about the growth of the Smart India Hackathon, so if you see the first graph, in 2017, we uh, we had more than 7,000 ideas and in 2023, we had more than 51,000 ideas submitted by the student team. This is a seven-fold increase. And that's why we are quoting that this is the world's biggest open innovation platform and no other hackathon in the world has this much reach. 
and if you talk about the growth in number of teams we had 7500 teams in 2017 and since then it is increasing to uh, 20000 and now it's more than 44000 teams which have uh, participated in the smart india hackathon and apart from that uh, many of the centers are designated as the host institute which hosts the hackathon and uh, from 2017 until date we have more than 82 nodal centers which are going to host the hackathon. So we have already executed the grand finale of the Smart India Hackathon Senior Edition and uh, there is upcoming Junior Edition in the month of February. And apart from that we have a good amount of participation from the ministries and departments. So it's continuously increasing and uh, th for this hackathon we had 51 uh, uh, departments participating in this hackathon. Uh, sir, if we see uh, female team counts, it's approximately 3,000 uh, 3, something. So how are we encouraging women participation in hackathon? Yes, uh, what we are doing for uh, empowering women led teams, since its inception in 2017, we have been promoting that each member team should have one female member and uh, this year uh, we have a good uh, number of female teams 3292 which had all the female uh, as a team members and uh, this year many of the uh, all female uh, led teams have been declared as a winner as well for which I will be uh, providing information in the upcoming slides. Okay. So as you can see this is the graph of the uh, nodal centers and the states where the hackathon was held. So 48 nodal centers all across in India covering north, south, east, west and the central region. So if you see this is the be uh, best example of Ek Bharat Shres Bharat covering the north, south, east, west and the central region and uh, as the Honorable Prime Minister vision each uh, student team they travel to various places, they explore new places, they get to know about various culture and initiatives. So this is the perfect blend to collaborate and connect with everyone and in addition to it many of the student teams they get to know about various industry experts they get in touch with them there is a networking activity so which eventually helps them to build a good network for future uh, course of life that's very nice to know sir so what is the state-wise participation how are we encouraging tier 2 tier 3 cities to participate in smart india hackathon right so uh, till date we have good participation uh, from the tamil nadu maharashtra side but uh, we have very less participation uh, from the northeastern jammu and kashmir uh, these are a few states so we have few schemes of the aict like PM triple S and uh, minority schemes. So we are trying to encourage and we will uh, further inculcate those schemes along with the Smart India Hackathon. So uh, through this we we will have definitely have increase in the number of participation of the student teams. So this is the statistics of the grand finale of the Smart India Hackathon. We had 48 nodal centers, we had 17 broad themes, we had 1300 teams participating in the grand finale and more than 7000 teams had participated. And as uh, you had, uh, you were asking about how many female teams. So 59 female teams had qualified for the grand finale and out of which eight all female led teams had won the hackathon. So this is a good number yes. and uh, eventually we are targeting more, uh, you know, uh, women empowerment across all initiative. So this is uh, one of uh, the uh, kind initiative and we are promoting across all our platforms. And apart from that, we had total of 275 winners and with a prize pool of rupees 2.2 crore, which is uh, none other, uh, you know, no other initiative uh, across India, which is giving such big prize pool of money. So if you see, these are the statistics of various winning teams across India. So if you see that uh, some of the teams from Manipur, Goa, Pondicherry, and even Uttarakhand, so uh, they have won the hackathon. So we, uh, we are trying to bring in more and more states to have good participation and eventually they will uh, reach the final stage and uh, you know, uh, uh, they might be declared as a winner as well. This is the slide for the ministries and departments and more than uh, 50 departments had participated. These are some of the ministries. So Ministry of Home Affairs, Ministry of Defense, Ministry of Ayush, ISRO, Def uh, you know, Ministry of Coal. So they had participated in the hackathon. And if we talk about the process flow of the hackathon, so first is the ideation stage. We take the problem statement from various ministries and departments. These problem statements are published on the our platform 
and the student fraternity they submit the idea and uh, after this uh, the after the submission phase these ideas are scrutinized by the evaluators which is the screening round and after that there is the grand finale or real time coding of the competition and currently we are at the stage of deployment so we have already shared the guidelines and along with the student teams data along with the codes which they have developed along and prototype and uh, these ministries and department they have nominated the officials and shortly they will connect with the team and uh, help them to deploy the solution at the respective departments so if you talk about the various uh, projects which are implemented by the government bodies so these are some 24 solution which are currently either deployed or are in the process of testing phase or under development stage so 24 projects as of now but eventually we are targeting more than 100 projects by end of this year to be deployed at these ministries and departments and so what's next after hackathon what happens next yeah so we will be doing the innovation design and entrepreneurship boot camps right now if you consider the solution they are very crude in nature and uh, for that to improve the design we are hosting a design week celebration under uh, uh, our prime minister guidance he had suggested we should have some uh, design week celebration or workshop so we have planned for innovation design and entrepreneurship boot, uh, boot camp which is a 5 days of workshop and uh, currently we have already completed the phase 1 of the boot camp and we will be organizing the phase 2 of the boot camp across the 10 locations at, from 29th of january to 2nd of february the second one is the project implementation so we have already drafted the guidelines for the project implementation and these have been shared with the respective ministries and departments so if any of the department uh, they want to check the implementation guideline there is the link uh, which they can go and check uh, how to uh, implement the solution along with that we have already shared the student data project codes and presentation so that they can communicate and provide the necessary action so if we talk about the uh, flow of project implementation the first one is the detail presentation the ministry and industry people they invite the winning teams they take a detail presentation and after that detail presentation they ask them to uh, plan a project project plan they uh, develop a project plan so in that project plan they ask for the resources which is required how many servers or uh, is there any expert team which uh, they needs so a project plan is required from those student teams and after that there is technical agency and list of experts they are nominated that will help them to mentor and deploy those solutions in the period of 6 months to 1 year and after that there is a regular tracking and monitoring of the project and this uh, typically takes about uh, as i said 6 months to 1 year of project implementation and if we talk about the intellectual property so we have a clear cut guideline that intellectual property of the solution which has been developed by the student teams they it rests with the student teams but they provide a free lifetime support and uh, the solution to the respective problem statement creator so in in this case it is the ministry and the respective industry so our next initiative is the funding through the yukti platform so yukti is one of the repository of the ideas innovation and startups from higher education institution and nurturing them to scale up and in the yukti platform we have various indexing across three levels technology readiness level manufacturing readiness level and investment readiness level and through the yukti platform there is a uh, opportunity to avail the incubation support along with the funding part so we are also uh, coming up with angel investors network where we will be having private investment from the uh, various angel investors as well so that is a program which we have lined up and probably will launch in coming few months as well and apart from that we have uh, opportunity for the various students to participate in the international hackathons so if we see we have singapore india hackathon which we had organized recently we had asian india hackathon and the unesco india africa hackathon so these are the few glimpses where the student teams of the smart india hackathon which are the winners they part, they get a chance to participate in the uh, international hackathon and represent india at a international level so these are some of the initiatives which uh, we did along with 
the international uh, along with the winning teams of the smart india hackathon in addition to this we have also uh, set up a alumni portal where uh, we have the alumni of the entire smart india hackathon from 2017 so it is a network which is created with the past edition participants of the smart india hackathon and we use them as a expert mentor and evaluators for the new editions of the smart india hackathon and along with that uh, if we have any exhibitions at a national stage we invite them to provide their uh, you know some leadership talk series or you know they can showcase their idea or their startups so they also get a chance to showcase at a national level so uh, this is one of the uh, national exhibition at pragati maidan which was hosted recently and this is the entire alumni showcase the startups thank you so much and uh, uh, this is a brief presentation what all are the initiative which we will be doing for the uh, student teams of the smart india hackathon so as so a thank you uh, for your all the meaningful insights hope this session was meaningful to everyone listening to our episode stay tuned for more episodes and do not forget to share subscribe aict media channel this is simran signing off thank you so much